everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good so today i'm going to show you another video of migration where i'll be showing you how to create sql file using migration command so let's get started with today's video so for creating a sql file you need to run command php artisan schema dump so this will basically generate a sql file and inside that file you will be having your create table command or alter table command so think like that migration behind the scenes obviously run sql commands only so these commands you will be getting in a sql file so now let me show you this by example so let's get started so in code you can see migrations so before that let me show you database so you can see i'm using laravel tutorial and i have done like it's a blank db first so now in code you can see you can find your migration in database folder and migration folder so I have created in my previous video two migrations, subcategory and category. So here I'm just going to migrate all my migrations. So write PHP artisan migrate command. So let me show you category. You can see ID, name and timestamps. Same in subcategory that is just ID and timestamps. So now let's run the command and you can see that all tables are created. So now let's go to database and go to structure. So you can see all seven tables are created. So how you can get the SQL file of all these tables? So for SQL file, write command php artisan schema dump. So now run the command. And here you can see there is one folder created that is schema and inside that there is one file. So in, if you open this file, then you can see there is drop table if exist and create table. So you will be getting all the create tables command in this file and also alter table if any particular column you have added. You can see password reset, personal access token, then subcategory. So users is also there and at the end you can see insert command that is in migration table if you will see. So all these table, all this command is also there for insert. So as I have created this file, so if I'll run my migration again, so first this SQL file will be executed, then if there is another migration, then it will run. But all those which are having in this sort uh, SQL, all these migration file will not run again. So run command php artisan migrate fresh. So now you can see here, it's loading database schema. You can see it's firstly dropping, then inserting, creating again migration tables. And here you can see loading stored database schema. So it's going to schema file, not our migrations file executed here. So you can see in database as well, all tables are created. So basically advantage of this creating SQL file is that if you are having more and more migrations, so then it's so difficult to manage so you can just create a one sql file and also you can delete the migration file so you can use one prune option for that so i'll be showing you that write command for that php artisan schema dump and like hyphen hyphen prune option so you can see in the left hand side that migration folder is there so if i run it so here you can see migration folder is deleted because all the migrations that are there all are listed in this sql file even after deleting if you will migrate then your tables will be creating using this sql file let me show you again creating migration and then migrating to db so let me create one migration so php artisan make migration let's say create child categories table and uh, run it so you can see migration folder again created and inside that you can find the child category migration okay so now so now let me just migrate it so write php artisan migrate so you can see only this new table is created in the db what any previous migration is not running again so i'm already having a sql file so let me just uh, dump this child category also to sql file so for that let me just clear the terminal and now write php artisan schema dump again so you can see data schema successfully created and now if i'll see child category okay let me just search it child category so you can see there is child category present in this file so let me quickly summarize what i have shown you in this video so firstly i have shown you 
command that is php artisan schema dump so using this command you can create one sql file where all the migrations that you have created till now that create table command will be in this file then after that if you want to delete your migration file after creating sql file then you can use prone option with your schema dump command the advantages of this is that firstly if you will migrate then this sql file will be executed after that any other migration will run and with this command one more option is also available that is database you can also define your database so that's all in this video i hope you like this video so in my next video i'll be showing you how to organize your migration folder if you are having so many migration files so how you can organize it so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video